Hey you guys, it's Nate Potato and um, uh, since in one of the latest snapshots uh, hoppers can actually be disabled with Redstone uh, so I've tried to update my sorting system so uh, as you can see I've just got an inventory load of just random crap and some valuables <laughs> so I'll just chuck everything in and uh, show you how it works afterwards. No, not enough room. <laughs> Let's take those out. Um. Oh. Not using that. Oh, I've got extra stuff. Um. So yeah, as you can see, it's gradually emptying stuff away. Uh, if we just add down here you've got this room where uh, just the storage room so everything's uh, labeled. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm using minecarts instead of um, trap chests. Um, I tried using trap chests and I don't know if it was a bug of just the snapshot or whether it's been like that since trap chests were added to the game. Um, but basically, say if I had three hoppers in a line and I had a normal chest, a trap chest, and another normal chest, the hopper that was above the trap chest would just feed all the items into one of the normal chests, so like it would avoid the trap chest. So I'm not sure why it's doing that, but you know, some kind of bug. So I've just used minecart chests instead because they still work just fine. Um, probably should have use the double chest for leftovers because that would probably fill with more things in reality if you actually had you know probably one set up with more than five different types of items <laughs> sorted uh, but yeah I've only got emeralds, diamonds, gold, iron and lapis separated from the rest at the moment um, so yeah this one's filling up with emerald and diamonds There's no lapis yet because it's probably later in the top chest it's got iron, this one's got everything else. Uh, let's just check the. Uh, yeah, you can see a bit of the workings there. Ah, oh, still doing emeralds. Okay, let's put a bit of lapis and a bit of gold in front. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is filling up with. lapis? Or is it. Oh, that's right, it's doing the gold first. Um, so yeah, they actually work better with double chests now. Uh, before, if you had a hopper, um, if it was above the left side of the chest, it would just fill up the top half of the chest and then stop. And Or if you had it over the right, it would fill up the bottom half. And same if you had it under a double chest, it would only take from the top or bottom half. But now it actually fills up better, so either one of these hoppers will just fill up from top to bottom. Um, so now that's just start filling up with lapis, yeah. That's uh, getting more emeralds. Um, so yeah, you can extend this out as long as you like, so, um, just as long as the, you know, leftovers, random crap chest is last. Um, but unlike the previous one I did, this does have to be in a straight line, or at least sections of it with chests do. Um, so you could have separate rooms with just like um, just hoppers going around the corners connecting the rooms with no chests under them but just chests in the rooms. But um, Yeah so it works really well. Uh, much better than the other one. It's not getting uh, stuck and not pulling items for a random reason. Like the previous one, kept having bugs. What's it doing now? Emerald again. <laughs> Just uh, putting random stuff in it. So yeah, there's all the diamonds and the emeralds, the lapis, gold and mine. Not much gold in there. Just everything else. Smooth gold front. 
Um, but yeah, I'll show you how it works. So yeah, it's quite a bit of um, redstone stuff. But yeah, this would all be concealed, like in you know in the ground if your house is underground. So this would be just like a separate cave area, or you know you you keep it all hidden. Um, but it's not that bad. It's fairly compact compared to some other kinds. Um, basically, these are all comparators. Um, is that what they're called? <laughs> I thought they were capacity, yeah, comparators. Um, and basically, oh, I need to go around the other side. Um, the way this works is this line of uh, hoppers has uh, 21 of the item in it. Now, it's aiming at just the stone wall. So basically, it can only pull items out from above. It can't push items out, down, or sideways or anywhere because the way it's facing just goes into a wall. So, um, so if this hopper is disabled, it can only pull and it can't move the items anywhere. Um, so it can only collect stuff. Um, and it's got hooked up to comparator. Um, so when it goes. Uh, to more than I think it's is it 21 now isn't it? I think when it gets to 23 um, the comparators will have instead of uh, see how only this one is uh, power this redstone is power but not this because uh, it's, it's got a signal strength of one uh, but once it gets to I think it was either 23 or 24 it gets a signal strength of two so then this redstone is powered, uh, which powers this block, which powers this comparator, which powers this block here, which powers this redstone, and because it's only a signal strength of uh, one, because you've got two and then one, so it won't power the rest of the redstone, only one piece, um, which then powers this repeater, this block, turns off the torch, which then uh, stops disabling this one, so then it will start sucking items out until it gets down to 21. Uh, it would be um, what, whatever the number was, 23 or 24, except that uh, these um, repeaters add you know, a few ticks delay, so it ends up taking a little bit more, so you end up with 21, um, and that's not bad. I could actually um, actually, I could probably increase the time, and that would um, decrease the number of items you need to have originally. Actually, I haven't thought of that. Um, let's just grab a stack of emeralds. So let's see. Um, yeah, so this torch turns off, this hopper becomes an air, it just took a while because of so many ticks. And then it'll start emptying this out. Okay, I managed to increase it by one. <laughs> um, let's try that again. So this, I'll put all the repeaters on. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Uh, put all the repeaters on full, you know, uh, maximum, Let's see how much it goes. So this gets to, yeah, it turns the torch off. It's filling up and emptying at the same time, so let's just take the rest out so it starts emptying. Um, okay, so that's brought it down to 18. That's not bad. Um, so yeah, you have to have 18 of whatever item you want to sort in the first place. Um, but yeah, once it goes above about 24, um, it'll enable the hopper below it, which will start sucking items out of it. And then um, 
once it goes below 24, it'll disable that signal, but it takes a while to get around, so it'll keep sucking items out for a bit longer. Um, so you can have 18. Uh, but basically you have one hopper just filled with each item. If it will let me fly. So that was, first one was emerald, second was diamond, and then lapis. So, And then the last one is not facing the wall, it just faces down, and again, down again into your leftover junk chest. Um, and you don't need any redstone on the last one. But uh, basically that's just how it works. These all just go sideways, so... Um, you know, the stuff will go along and it will get sucked out by these if it can. Oh, wrong one. But it can only do that if it's the same item because all the slots are full. Um, and see, so yeah, otherwise, so if it's not one of the items in any of these hoppers, it'll just continue along until it gets to the end. Um, and so you can have multiple items in the hoppers. Uh, but the problem is it's always going to fill in and suck out of the first slot. So it's better just to use one item per hopper, otherwise it can get complicated. Um, there's probably a way to make the redstone loop a bit more compact, but I'm not sure how else to do it without messing with the signal strength. Um, but yeah, basically that's just how it works. It just takes the output from this hopper, um, takes off one signal strength, uh, reverses the signal, and just relays it to the hopper underneath. So, you know, if this hopper has more than a certain amount of items, this hopper will turn on and start pulling items out of the hopper above. Um, that does mean you need you know, three layers of hoppers and they would just go into those chests there but I wanted to have, you know, a flush sort of storage room so I just put more hoppers under those chests and another set of chests um, and you know, that adds more height but it looks nicer um, so yeah, that's just my item sorting system so you can have, um, well, just have all your stuff sorted. <laughs> and, you know, also you can have the input chest in its own, you know, room or whatever, so you can't see any of the mechanics. And that should be filling up with emerald now. Yep. So yeah, um, I was a bit annoyed by the trap chest thing where it just wouldn't put items into a trap chest, it would actually just put items diagonally into a normal chest. Um, so yeah, I'll use minecarts instead. But yeah, this can be extended out as long as you want. Um, so you can have like a chest for every item, pretty much, or you know, a double chest for every two kinds, two items. So I did, you know, one's for, one for gems, one for um, metals, you know, so. Uh, you can sort it how you like, depending on how you set up the chests. But yeah, uh, that's my sorting system. Um, might look a bit complicated here, um, but it's actually fairly simple. You just got comparators um, sending the uh, signal with a strength of either one or two, sort of up. Uh, around here and then sort of turning it around reversing the signal with the redstone torch and then just um, pushing it into the hopper below um, see so yeah, I should have made all the repeaters maximum setting because then you don't need as many items to start with which I only whoop, just discovered <laughs> as I was recording I only just thought of it um, but yeah, if you've got just a basic understanding of redstone, you kind of know how this works. And, um, you know, it does take quite a bit of redstone, but it's pretty cool.
and it works really well and it gives you lots of storage space like unlike the one I did earlier where you had to actually store stuff in the hoppers themselves which would only give you 320 items max uh, whereas these ones you know they've got heaps of space because <laughs> you've got the actual you know chests and uh, that's about it um, it's just a very effective uh, sorting system actually I wonder how long it takes oh. I can't see it if it's coming in or not. <laughs> it's probably already there. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take very long to for the items to go through the system. Um, yeah, that's my sorting system. You can actually have a uh, enclosed storage room and another, you know, you just have the input chest just anywhere because basically you can just have the hoppers making uh, a pipe down you know, uh, the only direction they can't go is up, so <laughs> you can pretty much have the input chest anywhere as long as it's not below the system. Um, but yeah, that's my sorting system. Yeah, my sorting system. Um, hope you guys like it. Uh, see you guys in my next video.